Let's talk us through the rehab then, because you've obviously gone on to do some insane things. I mean, drove in no problem, walked mm-hmm. in no problem. You know, you're a purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu mm-hmm. and actually winning fucking matches against, yep. you know, for, for sort of fully for sort of able people. So you've obviously not, it's not held you back, you know. So talk us through how you went from there to, to now. So there, there was a couple of things, really. I, I knew from the beginning, and I've known this since I was a kid, <clears throat> that if you want to excel at anything, the the quickest and fastest way for you to do that is to get mentors that have achieved what you want to achieve and just ask them to help you. So I did that. I, I found a guy because there were no triple amputees in the UK. That, being an amputee can get quite complex. You've got above knee, below knee, this, that, that, you know, and... I'm above my bo- both my knees, so it's three to five hundred percent more energy for me to do anything than anybody else. And I've lost my dominant arm above the elbow, so it's a pretty difficult situation to be in. And there was nobody in the UK with similar injuries that, and I, and I mean this respectfully, but that wasn't restricted to a wheelchair. They were using wheelchairs more than they were using prosthetics. But I found a guy in America who was hit by a train in 2002 who was doing amazing things that I wanted to do. So I reached out to him very early and asked him and his team if they could mentor me and give me some advice because they've been doing it for six years. So I think I can take six years of their success and their failures and cram it into a couple of weeks, which is what I did. But then I also set myself goals, right right from the the get-go. You know, I was, we deployed in September. I was injured on Christmas Eve. The first week I got to rehab was February, 2008. And my unit still had seven or eight weeks of their deployment left. No, I knew when they came back, they'd get nine or 10 weeks leave to go and be with their families. And then when that was over, they go back to our unit and we have a medals parade, which is where every man and woman from the unit, attached ranks and everyone, will come to the unit with their families and friends from all over the world. And a VIP will present us with our operational service medals. So when I got to rehab, my goal was to get to that medals parade and where everyone will expect me to be in a wheelchair and be pushed on, I wanted to be on prosthetics, stood up. I wanted to walk on and stand tall, shoulder to shoulder with the guys that I fought with. And everyone thought it was mad. that like, there's no way you'll do it. Like, we don't even know how to deal with you, let alone get you to a level where you can do that in such a short space of time. But I had the, I had the guys over in America that were giving me some help and advice. And I just found having the goal really really helped me because like i'm not I'm not gonna lie like every morning in rehab my groin's cut i've got blisters on the end of my leg my back physic is going to snap i am exhausted every day i'm, I'm going through four or five shirts because of the sweat of like le- let me mean, learning to walk i thought it'd be easy it, it was ridiculously hard mm. like, everything about it was just it just nearly it nearly broke me what aspect of it's the hardest is it like just the actual physical side of it or is it like the mental side of actually walking again it's does both. that make sense like it's, it's definitely both but I, I went into the physical side thinking I can handle this no problem but that wasn't the case because right. you know when you walk now you guys you've got you probably don't even realise that you've got your toes and your ankles and you've got flexion in your toes and ankles and you've got calf muscles and knees and ligaments and tendons all I've got is my ass muscles I've got some hamstrings and quads that don't work bit of lower back and some core. And that's how I have to drive my prosthetics to walk. Mm. So it takes three to 500% more energy for me to do anything than an able-bodied person. You never think of that though? No. I never, you know, you've just said that I mean. then. I've never ever thought of so that. So people see me now life. mincing around all day long. I don't use a wheelchair. I walk around town. <laughs> I'm in Morrison's around. and all this lot. And it looks easy. It was ridiculously hard in the beginning. And not just that, it's, it doesn't feel anything like what it feels like for you to walk. Because I, I know I know both sides of the coin. I've had legs for 24 years and now I've not had them for 15, 16 years. You have to learn a new technique and it's frustrating trying to get your head around it. Do you know what I mean? It's like being a baby again, but with 24 years experience. And I had to learn that technique. I think the first time I ever became aware of you, I was watching an Instagram video and I think you were doing like, uh, you were doing a run, mm. something like that. I think it was with Ben. Mm-hmm. And um, you fell over. Yep. And I could see the frustration in your eyes, and mm. but you just fucking got back up like as if it was nothing. And see, you running's even on. harder. Yeah, I running's can imagine. Like, yeah. like six to 800% more energy. Because yeah. this is the way I try to explain it to people, right? I don't know if it was just me that did this when I was a kid, but when you get down on your knees, 
you grab like the laces of your shoe, you pull the heel of your foot up to your ass and you walk around the house on, on your, like that. That is what, <laughs> imagine, that. so imagine- Have you done that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you haven't, have a go after this. Yeah. Right. But I'll, go, that, I'll go and try it. That's pull what your arms like. in as well. Yeah, put pull your, your arms, arms in as well. well. <laughs> but um, that is what it's like when you're learning to walk prosthetics. Yeah, it's like okay. walking around on your knees. So imagine, imagine going to Morrison shopping and doing it all on your knees. Imagine how exhausted you'd be, right? And putting one arm behind your back, getting your weaker arm and pushing a trolley, picking everything off the shelf. That's what it's like. It, it was. Your body obviously adjusts over the years and you get fitter and more adapt to it. But in the beginning, that's exactly what it's like. 